Hello, 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 Love Wrestling. Welcome to another edition of the LPW Show, uh, where we are talking about LPW 8, Are We Not Wrestlers? And as you can see, I am joined by the LPW Grand Champion, our savior, uh, Mr. Michael Richard, plays MRB. Thank you How so much. How are you doing, my friend? I'm doing excellent right now. I feel great. LPW 7? successful night yes and i you know i want to talk about that just to start obviously you had a tag team match uh with your brother Stephen crow and you went up against state of emergency it was a hard-hitting affair that you guys came out on top with a victory how are you feeling now coming off a giant victory and kind of you know tag team matches but now you're focusing back to the singles department where you'll be defending uh your lpw grand championship how how's the how's the mental go from working a tag team match and kind of flipping the switch back to your singles uh title reign um if i'm being totally honest with you i've been doing like this for a really long time so like mentally i'm just kind of good with anything at like this point mm. i love doing tag matches i love doing the singles thing right now obviously my focus has to be on singles matches because I'm the LPW Grand Champion for a reason. Mm -hmm. And holding that title is what allows me to bring salvation to LPW and all the LPW fans. So I have to focus on it. If I'm being completely honest with you, I really do like tag team wrestling, though. I love it. I really like tagging with my little brother, mm -hmm. tagging with him like – I never thought my brother would get into this. So to be able to tag with him and beat a team like State of Emergency, who a lot of people are starting to consider maybe the best team in all of Canada, to beat them and for him, for Stephen Crow to actually get the pin, that's a cool moment for me. Mm -hmm. Like in my whole almost 20 years of doing this, something like that happening is one of the coolest things that – has happened for me just because like it's my brother it's my yeah. blood but like now the focus has shifted the focus is right back i have to defend this mm -hmm. i have to yeah that's the most important thing in this company and so mm -hmm. it's the most important thing to me it's the most important thing to the clandestine society and luckily luckily i know there's some rumors of tag team titles I know that Taryn from accounting, she'll fill in for me no problem. And the clandestine yeah. society is still going to – we're still going to have those belts on us as well. Oh, I love it. I love it. All right. So now let's let's turn our attention to LPW8, Are We Not Wrestlers? There was a fatal four-way at we LPW. Are wrestlers, for the record. What is it? We're all wrestlers. Oh, we're all wrestlers. I'm a wrestler. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There was a fatal four-way at LPW7 and one Jack Pride – came out the victor, and he is now the number one contender for your LPW Grand Championship. Uh, tell me what it's like, you know, I know you've been doing this for a long time, but Jack Pride comes with, uh, let's just say, multiple sides to him, multiple personalities. He can flip on a switch from being, you know, Jack and being, you know, this nice guy that everybody kind of likes being around and then turning into pride where the, you know, he might not, you know, turn up the intensity might not be the, the nicest guy to maybe be around. So tell me about like, how do you attack that as a, as a wrestler going in there? Not, maybe not necessarily knowing which pride you're going to see, if that makes sense. How do you, how do you stay focused and not think too much about things like that? For me, I've wrestled Jack pride multiple times before for different companies um, I'm sure we'll get into this later, but without going into too much right now, like if you want to not talk about it or whatever, because it's a weird situation, he was one of like, he's one of my favorite people and was one of my favorite people and has been one of my favorite opponents. And yeah, it's a little weird because mm -hmm. like sometimes it's like, just like you said, like, you don't know what you're getting. And like a lot of people, for a lot of people, that would be hard to prepare for. I think I have a little leg up literally just because of my experience. And I've dealt with a lot of situations in my past 
And even like very recently where it's like, I've lost friendships. I've mm. had people switch on me without even realizing it. And I just have to keep going and pushing through that. And so I go into that same kind of mindset of like, what do I do in life when things like that go wrong? What do I do in life when a friend turns into not so good of a friend? Mm. I just keep going. I just keep pushing. I just keep doing my thing. And in wrestling, that's literally all you can do. All I can do is keep fighting. So if I get happy, Jack, cool. We're going to have a nice little contest. We're going to do some walk-ups, some hammer locks. I might get a sharpshooter on. He might get another hold on me. We'll have clean rope breaks. Cool. I'm probably still going to win because that's just what I do. I got to keep that. Mm -hmm. If he turns into pride, maybe the difference is, is there's going to be fist flying. And if he's going to punch me in the face, I'm going to punch him in the face 10 times harder. If he's going to kick me in the face, I'm going to super kick his jaw off. I will put my knee through his skull. That's kind of like how I go with it. If he's going to give me the pride side, mm. I'll give him the bad side of God's gift to wrestling. I'll give him the side that sends you to damnation instead of salvation. You know what I mean? Oh, I know what you mean, I think. Yeah. Uh, and speaking on that, you know, a video surfaced not too long ago on Love Wrestling. Okay, and I think you, okay. yeah, you, you referenced it a little bit. So let, let's go okay. there a little bit. Um, it was kind of in the background. It looked like Thaddeus Archer was there. It was it was a little bit in the background, but it looked like it started off with a handshake between you and, and Jack. Yep. It looked like it was cordial at first and then looked like things broke down and things got physical and you guys needed to be pulled apart from each other. What happened there? How, like, it seemed like you guys went up, you had a handshake, like it was going to seem like a good, like, hey, good luck, like looking forward to wrestling you type conversation. And it broke down rather quickly. So talk a little bit about what happened and just kind of, yeah, how that all went down, really. This is one of those ones that's like tough for me to talk about because I don't like getting into these things. I feel like, I don't feel like fans need to always be like, you guys don't always want to know all the bullshit that happens on behind the scenes. Like you guys are here to be entertained. So you don't like, I feel bad bringing up real life bullshit. But like I said, Jack pride, the guy, Jack pride, he used to be one of my like favorite people. When he won that four way match, I was legitimately excited. Mm. And I get it. What he's like, what I've heard at least that he said, I saw it a little bit on Twitter, is he was a little upset that I told him to bring his A game, which I totally get. Sometimes, real life, whatever, I can be bad with words. And I literally, like, to me, the reason this savior gimmick could be considered as, like, realistic isn't because, sure, maybe I think I'm good, maybe I think I'm great, whatever, but I feel like I can save some people literally just by encouraging them. And I didn't mean he doesn't have bring his A game every other show. I didn't mean that at all. I think Pride, Jack Pride is a great professional wrestler. Literally one of the best guys I've stepped in the ring with. Mm -hmm. But I literally meant like bring your A game because I want to have the best match possible. I'm looking forward to it. And now this is where it's like maybe Arden imitates life a little bit. And I think he's getting lost in whatever is going on. And like Jack and pride is becoming a real thing mm -hmm. because what it felt like to me is when I said those words, I lost Jack. I lost the guy that was my friend and was shaking my hand and leaving. And I got pride and he said some things and I tried to walk away and then I got shoved and yeah. And real life situations like yeah you can you can try all you want to like hold back but when you get shoved and you see a fist flying at you like things are gonna happen and it's like for both of us it's just lucky that everybody was there and they didn't want to see us actually like fight and like realistically everybody wanted to get home we were trying to do ring crew like the fact that it happened during ring crew is like again it's that bullshit that i mm -hmm. feel bad that you guys who just want to be entertained have to see, but, and like I said, like, um, 
I stick to my commitments. Mm -hmm. So do I want to go into a match like this with this kind of like legitimate anger animosity? No, but I'm committed to this booking. I'm committed to this match. I'm committed to giving you guys, all the fans of LPW and everybody that supports us an entertaining, great match. So it's going to happen. I'm going to be there. I'm going to defend that title. And one way or another, whether it's a good wrestling match or it's just a knockdown drag out fight, like it's going to be worth watching. I can tell you that at the very least. Oh yeah, for sure. Um, well, speaking of that, you just said if it's going to be a wrestling match or a knockdown drag out fight because of the video that surfaced and LPW management looking into the matter, they have decided that this match is going to be now a no holds barred match. Now, obviously, that adds multiple layers, more violence, weapons, basically no rules for the most part. Um, so before I get you out of here, my last question is in that type of environment, especially considering what we just talked about in the video that came and just, you know, everything that's going on. If you're talking to pride right now, uh, what do you want him to, like, what do you want to say to him uh, to kind of prepare him for what he's going to get from our grand champion MRB uh, at LPW eight? What do you have to say to Mr. Pride? I'll start by saying what I want to say to Jack. Because what I want to say to Jack is I hope Somewhere deep down, like you can push pride back down because like, I love you as a dude. I think you have all the potential in the world. Hell, you don't just have potential. You already are at the pinnacle. Like you are literally one of the best guys I've ever wrestled. And you do such amazing things when you can be you. And I hope maybe you bring that and we just have a great wrestling match and we can do what we've done before and entertain everybody. If I get pride... You know better than anybody, Pride. Even if you have to go down and go into Jack's brain to remember this, I don't stay down. I don't stop fighting. I don't give up. I fought and pushed through a torn pec for six years before I got surgery. And when I got surgery, I sped up my recovery and I was back training and wrestling in five months when I was supposed to be out for eight. I do not stay down. I do not back down from a fight. And if you want a fight, if you want to throw fists, if you want to throw kicks, if you want to grab a chair, I'll do the same back to you. Because this, this is so much bigger than us. It's bigger than just wrestling. It's salvation. It is salvation for Everybody that's ever supported me or supported us or supported LPW or any wrestling there is. And I'm not going to let that go without a fight. And so if that's what you want to bring. Just know you're going to have to really put me down to stop salvation. There it is. You heard it from the LPW grand champion, Michael Richard Blaze, the savior. God's gift, MRB. I want to thank you for joining me today, and I wish you good luck uh, in your main event title matchup at LPW8. Are we not wrestlers? Thank you. thank you, my friend. I appreciate it. And sucks that we have to talk again on these circumstances <laughs> about this situation, but I'm glad yeah. you were able to chat. Absolutely. Again, thank you, and everybody stay tuned for more on the LPW show, and be sure to tune in for LPW8 at the end of the month. Are we not wrestlers? <laughs>